Okay, I'm greeting my next client, giving her a nice warm welcome, just like we do in the salon. And we're going on and I'm going to be doing her consultation and uh, then we'll get started with her haircut. Okay, for this young lady's hair, here again, somebody in London like cutting hair real straight across in the back. And, and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want out of it. The last person that cut it and me has a whole different idea. I want to go in and break those lines up a little bit so that we have a little softer edge and her hair will do a lot more. And you'll see in the end a nice, soft, wispy, kind of textured look. Just parting in the middle, taking out diagonal partings, starting right under the occipital bone and taking some of the weight off the ends cutting from top to bottom just taking out slicing out some pieces now the top is sectioned in there the round horseshoe pattern so that i can i don't have to have any clips to work underneath just taking section by section in diagonal partings and taking out the bulk of the hair i will just converge those pieces together you can see between the fingers and take the shark tooth cutter and go from top to bottom. Really in the flat of the head is where I want the hair a lot more texture as I work around the head form. Holding the hair out starting at the top and cutting on a diagonal down to the underneath. Just converging the hair together, putting the shark tooth cutter in, adding texture as I go. I will not have to come back and do any scissor work at all. Working on around the head form, I'm right over the ear area and I will begin to hold this part of the hair back towards the back because my idea for her cut was to have lots of texture longer around the front and a really long piece right in the front of the hair so that we have a long section right in the front and I'll work from top to bottom making sure I have a long section right at the front edge. Holding this now at a lower elevation and basically just to add texture to the ends of her hair. Now I'll work right around on the other side, starting in the middle and working towards the front. Holding the hair out in the center right, starting right out at about the occipital bone down. And more than length, I'm actually taking weight out of the hair, out of the ends of the hair. As I converge the hair and hold it out, I'm taking just that little texture on the ends. Now with this young lady's hair, she had real baby fine hair. So I'm actually working with a blade that's been in my uh, cutter for a while because on this type of hair, I really don't like to have a real sharp blade. If I'm cutting on dry hair or coarse hair, I would use a brand new blade, but it's not really needed on this type of hair. And sometimes I wouldn't cut fine hair with the razor, but in this case, it really needs it. It was very, very blunted and I really wanted to have a very soft PC texture. Working over the ear and slightly tilting that hair to the back, working now in the lower elevation making sure that I leave that front hair a little longer. You can see I'm working from the shorter part over the ear to just in front of the ear in the lower perimeter. Leaving that front piece nice and soft. This is really, it, it actually is, once you get the hair parted off in the right direction, it's actually a very um, uh, free-handed haircut. You know the length you want, you know you want your ends light, and working each section in a very distinct pattern, you have the freedom of going in and lightening that hair. Now I'm taking the top part that I have sectioned off, I'll take and comb it all the way down over the hair that I've just cut. The next thing I want to do is to find the part in the hair, the direction that I'm going to give her hair, and combing the hair down over everything of the underneath, we'll take some sections from the top and work from the top down. I'm going to go ahead and find the place where I want my bang area in front 
because this one really has a little bit of the same feeling the other one had, the first haircut had, in that I do have nice soft texture around the perimeter. Taking vertical sections from the top to the bottom, you see the bottom hair that was previously cut drop out, that's my indication to start my cut. Once that bottom hair drops out, I know I want to cut from there down. And you see it fall out and I begin the cut. Taking all vertical sections. You can see how fast and easy this cut goes. I mean, you could be very busy in the salon and execute this haircut following these instructions in just a very short matter of time. And of course, that's what I like to give you is nice, easy ways to produce very modern, edgy cuts. You can put your own, you can do this haircut and put your own finishing touches on it that may look quite different than what I'm doing by following the same haircut and finishing it in your own way. Working around towards the front now, combing it slightly to the back so that I make sure I want enough length around there so that I don't go too short. And just working right on up to the edge of the hairline making sure I leave that bottom nice and soft. Now I'm taking a top, a part, a section at the part and reversing that and combing it to the other side. You see I'll start at the beginning and let that bang go in an asymmetric cut. Comb it towards the part and start cutting so that you have length on the right side. And by just reversing this is how we get this. It's a nice, easy way to take that weight off and have a little corner in there that's a little shorter and a, and a real asymmetric feel to it. Cutting it right across the head form, making sure that my length is left on the right-hand side. Now I pick up some pieces at the perimeter Put some little edgy pieces in there, just carve out some pieces and slide cut it down, leaving that very front piece longer. Now we'll start over on the right hand side, start in the crown where I uh, left off on the other side. When you see that bottom hair drop out, go ahead and start your cut, taking the weight off. I've turned her around so that you can see a little bit better on this side. It goes down into a little bit longer on the, on the right side than the left. I'm leaving that just slightly longer, still tilting it slightly towards the back to retain that length. Lifting it up, starting from the top, because I do want some to remove some of that length on the top. Just going from the top down into the length on the side. Picking it up, taking my previously cut hair and measuring as I go. This imparts a very edgy look. You can make this haircut as wild as you want when you finish it or you could comb it very calm and smooth. Uh, the sky's the limit with this. Once you get the shape in there, You'll finish it however you would prefer to do it. I'll finish it dry and with the flat iron, but it, the choice is yours, totally yours. You can take this bang a little shorter and still keep it asymmetric. What I'm giving you is a pattern to go by, a quick and easy way to cut this so that um, you can do it very quickly and very precise and have your shape in there. I'm just measuring each piece now, double checking and cross checking as I go, making sure that it's shorter in the crown and longer in the front. Just combing through now to see exactly what else I need to do. It looks as though I have some weight in this bang area. Let's take a little bit off there. Just converge that hair together and you can see exactly where to cut. A little bit shorter in the bang, right in the point area of the bangs on the left side. Just checking out the crown in some section. Con converge some large sections together, making sure that you have all the weight removed that you would like to remove. And it's going to depend on the type hair you're cutting. 
this model's hair was baby fine, but she did have a lot of it. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough of the weight off before I dried her. Now, as usual, I will, uh, when I finish the cut, the shape is there. Then I'll dry it. I will absolutely look at it and see what else I need to do once I get it dry and I've flat ironed all the little wrinkles out of it. And you see, I've left each front piece longer than the rest of it. So that's what I'm double checking right here to make sure I have enough of that weight off of there so that it's just really a little longer on the front edge. So it just imparts a little, little bit of a, a layered textured bob. It'll still have a little bit of a bob feeling, but it'll be very textured and very lightweight and very edgy and modern. Just double checking through, cross checking, so to speak taking the shark tooth and checking it out. Well, I believe we've, we've finished that just about. Maybe a little more weight on the top. If I'm ever finished, I'm finished. You see, once I converge that, I can feel some of that weight there. So I'm not really removing any length, so to speak, but I'm just going in and removing some of that weight where it's converged to the center. And you see how nice the shark tooth works for this. I'm turning it around and reversing the way I'm cutting with it and it works wonderful. A nice light cut now. Nice shape in there, you can already see the shape. All right, we're already finished with it. She's had makeup, she's in front of the camera. I'm doing a little bit of adjustment here, making some little peekaboo pieces and getting ready for her to be photographed. Just making sure that everything is just like we want it. And here Tom goes, he's cutting. I mean, he's, here Tom is doing her completed uh, shots. And as I said before, all of these still shots, uh, once I send the video to you, then we'll take some of these. They'll go out to the trade magazines, the consumer magazines. So as you look through the hair magazines, you'll see a lot of these shots. And as I repeated before, you'll already know how to do the haircuts. You're gonna be ahead of the game. And of course, that's one of the big advantages to being a member of the DVD club. You get a lot of these things. I traveled to Milan this year and London to do a lot of this work, to bring you back so you would have the latest, newest things. And that's our finished look.